and welcome to the Children's Groundwater Festival Simple Science that you can do in your kitchen. Today we're going to do a simple science experiment called the three P's. P, poo, and paper. And for this activity you get to say those words. The simple science experiment, there's a few things that you need to collect. The list of materials is listed um, on the outline. So you need to gather up things as simple as toilet paper. If you have a younger sibling, um, in your house, you might have some baby wipes, or you might have bought some of those flushable wipes that aren't really flushable. Some coconut oil, and we have some coffee. So we're gonna fill each jug with water, which I've done. I've put a couple things ahead of time, just so we can have a look at that. And in the first one, I'm going to stuff some toilet paper. Put the lid on. In the next one, I've put one of the uh, wipes. In the third one, I've put some coffee, and in the fourth one, we're gonna put some veg uh, vegetable oil or our coconut oil and see what happens with that. What we're going to do on day one is have a look at them. We're gonna give each one of them a shake and see what happens, okay? And once I get that in, we'd shake that. So once you've shaken things up, you wanna write down what your observations are and pay attention to how things are decomposing or coming apart or falling apart. And when we look up close maybe at our toilet paper, we can already see that the toilet paper has started to break, broken up. In here we have our, our wipe, and it still looks like a wipe. Our coffee grounds is discoloring, and it's just something that we've put down the toilet that maybe we shouldn't have. All right, the other thing that we wanna talk about with this experiment is something that we have within the region. There's 13 in the region of Waterloo, and there's one in the city of Guelph, and there's a number in the county of Wellington. And some people have a septic system, which is they're on their own private property, usually in the country or maybe at your cottage. There's um, some Im images on our the website, links to what a water treatment plant is, and how things where where does it go when I go so following the path of when something flushes down your toilet goes through the sewer pipes goes through the wastewater treatment plant and what happens to it there so those are things that you can have a look at we also have a chart as part of the activity that you can do a checklist and see what items are and where they should go so where's the best place for them so what are the three things that should be flushed down the toilet again? That's right, pee, poo, and paper. That's it, nothing else. No disposable wipes, no coffee grinds, and no toys. So for the game part of three peas, we need to gather up a few things for this. If you have an old toilet seat like I did lying around, you're going to need that. If you don't have a toilet seat, that's fine. You could just cut out a, a maybe a cereal box, make it into a ring like a toilet seat. And then find a picture, whether it's a picture of a townhouse that you live in, your house, right? We have different houses that you might want to pick to live in, a picture of your house. So we need about three of these to make the game work. We need some rope and we need our signs that say pee, poo, paper, the toilet paper kind, and then things that we can't flush down the toilet. What were those again? That's right, oil, coffee grinds, and those wipes that we don't wanna be putting down the toilet. So we need pictures of all of those things printed off and put on popsicle sticks so that we can play the game. We line up our toilet seats, connect them with rope. One person gets to be the wastewater treatment operator. So the person who works at the wastewater treatment plant, they get to stop things coming into the treatment plant that they don't want. So those things that we don't wanna flush down the toilet, they're gonna let us know when we create things like our big nasty clog and stop everything. Let's see what happens when that happens. We also need to have um, a bucket to put all those things in and then you can get started on the game. It's a lot of fun. See what can be flushed down the toilet and what we should not flush down the toilet. So follow along and have fun.